Picture this. It was March 8th, 2014, and a Malaysian airline soared into the skies from Kuala Lumpur Airport, bound for Beijing. However, as if by some eerie magic, the plane never arrived at its intended destination. It vanished without a trace, leaving everyone in a state of shock and confusion. For almost a decade, the world has been grappling with the mystery of its whereabouts, wondering if it will ever be solved. But hold on tight, because there's some spine-tingling news. After years of uncertainty, there is finally a glimmer of hope in uncovering the truth behind this perplexing disappearance. Hey there. Welcome to our channel and get ready to embark on an accelerating journey with us. But before we get started, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to join our thrilling community and never miss out on our captivating tales. This is a heart pumping tale from 9 years ago, when a Malaysian Airlines aircraft was set to embark on a journey from Kuala Lumpur to Beijing. On board were two seasoned pilots. 10 skilled cabin crew members and a staggering 227 passengers eagerly anticipating their destination. The captain, Zahari Ahmad Shah, boasted an impressive 33 years of flight experience at the age of 53, while his co-pilot, Farik Abdul Hamid, was a 27-year-old up-and-comer with 7 years of flight time under his belt. Little did they know, this flight would go down in history as one of the most mysterious disappearances in aviation history. The aircraft was a magnificent Boeing 777, a mere 11 years old, with not a single issue to speak of. This beauty had never suffered a mechanical or electrical malfunction in her life. This was to be a typical and unremarkable journey, an everyday commute from Malaysia to China. With a duration of 5 hours and 34 minutes, this routine flight made the trip to and fro on a daily basis. Yet, little did anyone know, this humdrum flight was about to be a tale of mystery and suspense that would confound the world. However, fate had something ominous in store for MH370 on that fateful day. It was not a day like any other but one that would forever be etched in the annals of aviation history. As the plane prepared for takeoff, an eerie sense of unease filled the air. Unbeknownst to those on board, the aircraft had been fueled up with more than the usual amount, giving it the ability to fly for an astonishing 7 hours and 41 minutes, a whole 2 hours and 15 minutes longer than the scheduled flight time. This was a standard procedure followed by airlines, allowing for greater flexibility in case of unexpected emergencies or treacherous weather conditions that could force a detour to a farther airport. But little did anyone know that this extra fuel would play a significant role in what was about to happen next. Uh, Malaysian 370, standby. Malaysian 370, request level. As the clock struck 12.42 a.m. on the eerie night of March 8, 2014, flight MH370 soared into the sky following its usual routine. The experienced captain, Zahari, was in constant communication with the Kuala Lumpur air traffic control tower both before and after takeoff. All seemed well as the plane ascended into the darkness. But suddenly, in a shocking turn of events, the aircraft deviated from its designated path, veering towards the treacherous waters of the South China Sea. Just 20 minutes later, at 1.09 am, the plane's transponders transmitted its GPS location to the Kuala Lumpur radars, a standard automatic function of these instruments. The operation had been executed flawlessly so far, but just as the 777 airplane crossed the border from Malaysian air jurisdiction to Vietnam's, the eerie darkness of the night seemed to intensify. At 1.19 am, the Kuala Lumpur control tower made a final attempt to contact first pilot Zahari before handing over control to their Vietnamese counterparts. Malaysian 370, contact Ho Chi Minh 120, Little did they know, this would be the last communication between them and the plane. The tense silence that followed only added to the mounting sense of foreboding and the urgent need to unravel the mystery that was unfolding. 
With the plane now under Vietnamese air jurisdiction, it was up to the control tower in Ho Chi Minh City to take charge of flight MH370. First pilot Zahari heard the message loud and clear and responded with a simple phrase that would soon send chills down the spines of those monitoring the flight. Good night, MAS 370. Little did the control tower or the pilot know that those fateful words, good night, would be the last ever heard from flight MH 370. With 37 minutes in the air already, everything seemed to be going according to plan, with routine communication between the plane and air control towers along its path. But in a flash, everything changed. Just three minutes after the last message to the tower, at the stroke of 1.21 am, the plane vanished from radar screens. Both Kuala Lumpur and Ho Chi Minh's airports were left in a state of shock and disbelief as the world looked on in horror at the unfolding mystery of the missing airplane. What had happened to flight MH370? Where had it gone? The questions kept coming, but there were no answers in sight. As flight MH370 crossed into Vietnamese airspace, the Kuala Lumpur control tower assumed that everything was normal, as the plane was expected to be under the watchful eye of the Ho Chi Minh air control tower. However, when the plane disappeared from the radar screens at Ho Chi Minh's airport, alarm bells started ringing. The tower tried frantically to contact first pilot Zahari to ascertain their location, but all attempts were met with an eerie silence. For the next 18 agonizing minutes, Ho Chi Minh's tower kept trying to make contact but to no avail. With growing concern, Ho Chi Minh's tower reached out to the Kuala Lumpur control tower, alerting them to the disappearance of MH370. The protocol called for the Malaysian tower to inform the rescue center within the next hour, but shockingly, it would take them a full 4 hours to make the call. By then, it was too late. The fate of flight MH370 remained shrouded in mystery and the world was left to grapple with the haunting question, what had happened to the vanished plane and all its passengers? The clock had struck 6.15 am and the entire world was holding its breath, hoping for a miracle. Flight MH370 was expected to land in Beijing at that exact moment, but as it turned out, it was nowhere to be found. The news of the disappearance spread like wildfire and soon after, a massive search operation began at 6.32 am. Seven countries, 34 ships and 28 aircrafts joined forces to scour the area between the Gulf of Thailand and South China Sea, but despite their best efforts, there was no sign of the missing aircraft. The investigation team was rocked by a stunning revelation on the fourth day of their search. It was discovered that, at 1.21 am on March 8, when flight MS370 vanished from the civilian radar, it had not disappeared from the Malaysian military radar. Astonishingly, the aircraft had continued to be registered by military radar for another hour after its supposed disappearance. After making a sharp right turn, the plane had executed a U-turn and began heading back towards Malaysia. After 31 minutes, it was seen crossing over the Malaysian city of Penang before ultimately turning towards the treacherous Malacca Strait. This new information sent shockwaves throughout the world and added a chilling new dimension to the already perplexing mystery of MH370's disappearance. The military radar had the last glimpse of the plane heading towards the vast expanse of the Indian Ocean, cloaked by the darkness of the night at 2.22 am, but after that, the plane vanished into thin air, disappearing from both military and civilian radars. The enigma of the plane's mysterious disappearance left the rescue team and everyone involved on edge. Relentlessly searching for answers, the haunting question lingered. If the plane was up in the sky, where could it have vanished? What was even more baffling was why the aircraft had made a sudden U-turn, deviating from its intended route to Beijing. The search teams scoured the Gulf of Thailand and the South China Sea, but to no avail. The search area had now shifted to the vast and treacherous Indian Ocean and yet the aircraft was nowhere to be seen. The hunt for MS370 had just begun and the stakes were higher than ever. Just when the search for MS370 seemed to have hit a dead end, a new revelation surfaced, completely turning the situation on its head. Days had passed since the plane disappeared from military radar at 2.22 am, but it turned out that the aircraft was not entirely out of reach. A satellite in the sky was in constant communication with MH370, 
and while this was a routine occurrence for Boeing planes in distress, it was a crucial breakthrough for the rescue team. The satellite in question, Inmarsat, was a staggering 35,000 kilometers away, but that did not stop the airplane from automatically attempting to contact it repeatedly every hour since its disappearance. This new information set the hunt for the missing plane ablaze once again as the team raced against time to decipher the clues and unlock the mystery behind the plane's whereabouts. As the experts dug deeper into the satellite data, they uncovered a shocking revelation that sent chills down their spines yet another time. After vanishing from military radar, MH370 had taken a sharp turn in the opposite direction and continued to soar over the vast expanse of the Indian Ocean for a staggering 5 hours. At 8.10 am, the airplane attempted to connect with the satellite one last time but without success. This was the last signal received from the elusive MS370 as it vanished into thin air, leaving no trace behind. The silence was deafening and the team was left with nothing but a flurry of unanswered questions and the daunting task of uncovering the truth behind this unfathomable mystery. Just as the search operation was underway in one location, a harrowing realization dawned upon the experts. MH370 was still airborne, but it was now far from the search location, leading to an agonizing and tragic discovery. The satellite data revealed that the airplane had journeyed for a total of 8 hours after taking off from Kuala Lumpur airport and had flown to a point in the Indian Ocean approximately 2000 kilometers west of Australia's coastline where its connection with the satellite was abruptly cut off. The grim reality set in and the team came to the chilling conclusion that the plane had likely crash landed into the ocean having run out of fuel. The mystery that had kept the world on edge for so long was finally beginning to unravel. But it was a tragic and heart-wrenching end to the saga of MH370. As the search operation shifted to the vast expanse of the Indian Ocean, a daunting task lay ahead of the team. The area under scrutiny spanned an immense 1.3 million square miles, a staggering third of the total area of the United States. The team embarked on a perilous mission to scour the depths of the ocean in a race against time to find any potential survivors and, perhaps even more crucially, the black box. This small yet vital piece of equipment held the only key to unlocking the secrets of what had transpired on board MH370 during its final moments in the air, and it was the only hope the team had of piecing together the mystery that had eluded them for so long. The stakes were high and the clock was ticking as the team pushed themselves to the limit in pursuit of the truth. Despite the heroic efforts of the search team, the fate of MS370 remained shrouded in mystery. Months turned into years, and despite a staggering expenditure of over $160 million, not a single clue was found to indicate the whereabouts of the missing plane. It was a crushing blow to everyone involved, as the hope of finding any potential survivors dwindled with each passing day. But just when it seemed like all was lost, a glimmer of hope emerged. In 2015, a full year after the plane had vanished, a flapperon from the right wing of the aircraft was discovered on the beach of the island of Reunion. It was a small but significant breakthrough, reigniting the team's determination to unravel the enigma of MS370 once and for all. As investigators analyzed the flapperon found on the beach of Reunion Island, they were struck by a chilling realization. The crucial component, which helped stabilize a plane during takeoff and landing, was not extended at the time of the crash. This could only mean one thing. MH370 had plummeted into the ocean in a devastating nosedive. Over the next few years, more pieces of debris washed up on the shores of Africa. But despite exhaustive efforts, no trace of the missing aircraft or its passengers was ever found. Theories abounded, ranging from hijacking to electrical failures that left the passengers unconscious due to lack of oxygen. But the truth remained elusive, tantalizingly out of reach, leaving behind only haunting questions and a deep sense of loss. The mystery surrounding the disappearance of MS370 continues to haunt the world even after 8 long years. Despite extensive search operations and multiple findings of debris, the exact fate of the plane and its passengers remains unknown. However, in a shocking revelation, a retired British aerospace engineer, Richard Godfrey, claims to have located the plane through signal analysis. According to Godfrey, the aircraft now rests 4,000 meters deep in the Indian Ocean in the same area where it was believed to have crashed. 
This depth is equivalent to where the Titanic remained hidden for 74 years before it was found. The question remains whether Malaysian authorities will take the engineer's claim seriously and launch another search operation. Only time will tell if the black box containing the answers to this enduring mystery will ever be found. Stay tuned for more updates on this gripping story as well as other fascinating tales by liking this video and subscribing to our channel. We would love to hear your thoughts and theories in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and we'll catch you in our next video.